Hello again. It's me, Casey, your host of Steamy Stories, written by J.C. Calciano, the podcast where bromance becomes bromosexual. Do you love a good comedy? Who doesn't? J.C. Calciano's hit film, Steam Room Stories, the movie, is out now on DVD and Blu-ray. You can now join the sexy hunks of the steam room as they battle an evil cosmetics magnet played by the iconic Tracy Lords. Trust me, this movie's a hoot. The DVD director's cut even comes with a scratch and sniff card. Yep, it's true. The movie is in scratch and sniff. So be sure to look for the movie that's in Cinema Scent. Steam Room Stories the Movie is available on Amazon or on our website for streaming at www.cinema175.com. Now that we've planned your next movie night for you, let's get into another Steamy Stories. This one's about a happy birthday. <laughs> Riley dreaded today. As with most men turning 40, it isn't something he looked forward to. Being 30-something suited him just fine. Being single wasn't helping Riley with his birthday humdrum. He wanted love and to be in a relationship. Everyone referred to him as a catch. But online dating wasn't his thing nor were casual hookups. Riley did everything he could to retain his strong, attractive looks by working out, getting stylish haircuts, and keeping up with current fashions. He'd only been in love once in his life, and that was in college. It was with his best friend, Cole. He ended the friendship after turning down an invitation to be Cole's Best man at his wedding. Riley was fond of Cole's bride, Sally. She was as beautiful as she was sweet. And he desperately wanted to be in their lives, but, you know, he couldn't do it. The happier the two of them were together, the more Riley's heart ached over Cole. And he eventually decided that he needed to opt out of their friendship for self-preservation. Oh, Cole was... Everything Riley wanted in a partner. Oh, he was smart, funny, caring, ridiculously attractive, and well-built. You know, with a long, lean, muscular torso and the ideal amount of body hair. Cole was a true sportsman. And because of him, Riley ended up surfing, skiing, and partaking in every outdoor activity imaginable. Today's birthday started like every other. Texts, calls, and cards from family and a few close friends. Showered and dressed, he contemplated what to do with his special day. And then, as he settled in front of his computer to work, his showered and dressed, he contemplated what to do with his special day. And then, as he settled in front of his computer to work, his phone rang from an unknown number. Probably a spam call, but I'd hate to be rude to someone who remembered my birthday. Riley cautiously answered the phone. Hello? Riley? The voice asked, as if unsure if he called the right person. It's me, Cole. I... I wanted to wish you a, a happy birthday. Riley sat motionless. He couldn't believe Cole was calling. Riley hesitantly replied, Thanks, Cole. An excited, Wow, I can't believe I got you, followed by, So great to hear your voice. I couldn't let you turn 40 without wishing you a happy birthday. Riley wasn't sure what to say, or even where to begin. Perhaps it was best just to be polite, and excuse himself from the call quickly. 
So great to hear from you. Thanks for the well wishes. I appreciate you remembering, but I really must get to work. Oh, sure, silly me, Cold replied. Before you go, do you have dinner plans? I live in the next town over. I'd love it if you came here and we could celebrate. Riley didn't miss a beat before replying, Ah, sorry, I already have something lined up for tonight, but thank you. Uh, well, if you change your mind, please call. I'm a great cook. Uh, I'd love to help you celebrate your big day. Riley was resolved in his decision to get off the call. Very kind of you. I appreciate you remembering my birthday. Uh, talk soon. Before he could hang up, Cole again extended his invitation. If you change your mind, please call. Riley hung up and sat for a moment as a flood of old memories came over him. That deep, sexy voice, that sweet demeanor. I guess I never did get over him. The day passed, much of it thinking about Cole. Riley remembered their night in the park, drinking beers and talking about their futures. Cole would always say how he and Riley would be best friends forever, as he promised that they'd be the kind of buddies that would never let a woman get between them. But ironically, Riley thought, that's exactly what ended up happening. Curiosity plagued Riley. What was Cole up to? If he's been in a town nearby all this time, how has he never run into him? Is he still married? Is, is he still hot? Employed? Riley's imagination wouldn't relent. Riley couldn't concentrate on making dinner or settling in to watch TV, so instead... He decided to look online to see what he could find out about Cole's life. But search how he may, Cole didn't seem to have any social media presence. Who doesn't have a Facebook or Instagram account nowadays? Riley's search did reveal a home address. Oh, I'd love to see his house where he lives. Oh, but heck, it's only six o'clock. It's early. I may as well just drive by. It's only 30 minutes away. Oh, a nice night for a casual drive. As Riley drove, his mind kept wondering, am I nuts to go over there? What am I doing? I, okay, whatever happens, I'm not ringing the bell to say hello. I'll just drive by quickly to see what kind of life he's made for himself. Riley pulled up to the address on the phone. It was a modest, quaint home with a fresh coat of paint and an antique porch swing. You know, the kind of home that houses a happy family. Good for him, Riley thought. He fought the urge, but ultimately couldn't resist. Riley needed to get out of the car and take a closer look inside. Okay, okay, I know this doesn't seem right, and I'm a peeping Tom, so I'll just stand on the porch and look in. If anyone catches me, I'll just say I was about to ring the bell. I just need to know what's going on inside. Riley stood on the porch. As luck would have it, he could easily see into the kitchen from the window near the front door. Cole could be seen with his wife and kids sitting around a birthday cake, singing. Damn, he hasn't aged in 20 years. Still an athlete. Oh, still has a great body oh, and a full head of hair. The least he could have done is be bald and out of shape. Riley's heart raced. Butterflies flooded his stomach. How do you still have feelings for this guy? Riley could see Cole's family gathered around a large, frosted cake. He figured it must be one of Cole's kids' birthday today, too. And Riley could feel himself sinking into the same 
petty jealousy that cost them their friendship so many years ago. Hi, you here for the cake? Asked an innocent-looking teenage boy, no more than 100 pounds, with bright red hair. Riley turned in surprise. He knew he was busted. Time to think quickly. I just realized that I'm at the wrong house. I thought this was 1239, not 1236. My, my mistake. Riley readied himself to retreat. And the teen replied in a high-pitched voice, I do that shit all the time, as he rang the doorbell. Riley panicked. How could he quickly make his escape? He rapidly retreated to his car, praying he had the time to slip away before anyone answered the door and discovered him. Riley? Is that you? Cole calls out from the porch. Riley knew that he wasn't going to get away. Damn it. Best to man up. Best to man up. He turned and weakly smiled. Hey, Cole. Just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drive by. Riley cringed as he said the words, fully aware of how ridiculous he sounded. Cole rushed over, and before Riley could extend his hand for a shake, he was caught in a bear hug. So glad you stopped in. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. You look amazing, certainly nowhere near our age. Riley chuckled to himself. Same old charmer. He knows how to say all the right things. But if we're both being honest here, Cole looks frickin' amazing. Riley decided that it was best to be honest. Just state his position and excuse himself from the situation as swiftly as possible. Cole, I appreciated the call this morning and the invitation. I truly, I do. I'll be honest that I was curious about how you were and what you were up to, so I drove by, but since I'm here, I have to admit that I'm not really sure if I'm up for a social visit at this time. Cole smiled with the same big blue sweet eyes that Riley remembered from high school, just like when they were kids. Cole would look at Riley and his heart would melt. Cole put his hand on Riley's shoulder. Riley, I don't know how to tell you this, so I'll just say it. I know why you ran away from me when we were young. And I really don't know what I'd do if you did it again. Every day, I regret letting it happen. For not coming after you. When we were young, I knew what you were doing and why you were doing it. I just, I didn't know how to deal with it. My intention was never to cause you so much pain that you'd not want to see me. Riley stopped Cole. He didn't want to hear anymore. He couldn't hear anymore. Water under the bridge. A young gay boy who fell in love with his straight buddy. It's, it's a gay cliche. Riley tried to free himself from Cole's hand on his shoulder, but couldn't. Cole remained with his hand steadying him. Can I please just explain myself before you run away again? I just would appreciate two minutes of your time to let you know why I called you today. Riley removed Cole's hand from his shoulder. Sure, go ahead. Sally and I are still together, but just as friends. It's been that way for 15 years now. We still love each other, but... Not the way you think. You know, it was my kids that insisted I call you today. They're tired of listening to me talk about you. Cole laughed at himself. They couldn't take it anymore. They found you on Facebook. You see, I came out of the closet uh, a while ago. When we were friends, I was afraid of being a gay man. I'm not anymore. 
Riley, you made my heart sing and my life complete back then. I was... I was hoping that we could get to know each other again and see if we could fix a mistake that I think we both made years ago. What do you think? Can you come in and meet everyone? Let us sing happy birthday and have a piece of cake? Riley fought his emotions as he choked out the question, um, whose birthday is it? Cole smiled as he pulled Riley towards him into another hug. He whispered, it's yours. I baked it this morning when I called to invite you over. I was planning on you coming and celebrating with us tonight. I know, I know, a, a bit presumptuous. Every year, I celebrate your birthday. In my own way. This year, I was hoping we'd be together. Riley's butterflies subsided, and his heart filled with a warmth he hadn't felt in many years. Riley suddenly wanted nothing more in the world than to stay and to celebrate. Birthday cake sounded like the perfect thing right now. Cole sweetly took his hand and asked, Let me introduce you to the kids and sing you happy birthday. Sure, I'd like that, Riley replied. But before we go inside... I just need to do this. Riley took Cole in his arms and pressed his lips deeply against his. Finally, having the kiss he dreamt of since high school. Cole's surprise quickly turned into excitement. He was eager to reciprocate with an even deeper, more passionate kiss in return. And finally, the two men stopped to take a break. Riley admitted, I've thought about kissing you like that for the past 20 years. I have too, admitted Cole. Was it all that you hoped it would be? It certainly was, admitted Riley. Cole gave him a mischievous look and replied, Let's get you some cake. And after, we can blow out some candles. Feeling amorous after that story? Not to worry, I got you covered. J.C. Calciano writes male male romance movies as well as steamy stories. Just go on Amazon and look for his films. Is it just me? E. Cupid, the 10 year plan, or. Steam Room Stories, the movie. Rent or buy them now. And by doing so, you'll be supporting the podcast, Steamy Stories. This has been Steamy Stories, hosted by me, Casey, and written by JC Calciano. We hope to see you again in a month for another Steamy Stories. Later, bro.